Welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator 2. If you missed the last episode and you want to go back and check it out, I'll put a link up in the upper right hand corner so you can easily do so. All right, let's hop into the email. We've got two new jobs from last episode and we've still got this one because of reasons I have no idea why. If I accept two jobs in the day, it only gives me two new jobs. If I accept all three and in the day, it'll give me three new jobs. If I do one, it'll do, it will never let me stack more than three jobs. Now I've complained about this in the past, so I don't want to go on a huge rant about it, but that's why we only have two new jobs available because I still can't do this one because I don't have my five-star rating yet. I showed it um, in the last episode, but we're real close. I'm probably more than two jobs away from five stars. One four-star job has taken me, at least so far, it's taken me five. This will be seven jobs if I get five stars on these. I think I'll be up to seven jobs and still haven't gotten back to five stars from just having one four-star mistake. So yeah, this game really punishes you. And then it gives you stuff like this. Things you can't do without having a five-star bongle rating. So I don't know if this is going to clear out at some point or what. I guess we'll see. But we do have two jobs. We're going to work on those. And then, as usual, we're going to have a spares and repairs build, which I'll show you guys here in a minute. But let's read through this one first. It says, hey, are you okay to repair my PC? Can you diagnose what's wrong with it? I think something's up with my RAM. It's making a funny noise. Maybe you can replace it? It keeps crashing, and if I touch the case while it's turned on, I get a little electric shock. Oh, <laughs> that's more than just RAM. That sounds like a PSU. Anyway, I think warning sign stickers would look cool on a PC. Can you do that? If you can, I'd love some plastic blue cables in there. Chris. So Chris has a parts budget of $1,200. And he thinks the only thing wrong with this is RAM. I'm not really sure what's wrong with it. We're probably going to have to get this in to see, and then we'll just order everything we need then. But he's got all kinds of things that could be wrong. I mean, he's got two 2070 Supers. One of those could have died. I don't know. RAM doesn't usually make noise when it goes out. It just doesn't work. So yeah, I don't know. We may be replacing this RM850X. I'm unsure. I am unsure. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to accept that. And when it comes in, we'll figure out what's wrong with it. We'll order parts for same day delivery. Simple. Simple, simple. So now we've got another build. We've had two builds in the past two episodes, last episode and this episode. That's been really nice because for a very long time, I was only getting upgrades, diagnose and fix, all kinds of stuff. It's great to start seeing some builds come in. I hope we get more. This is awesome. This one says, hey, dude, listen, this is kind of awkward. So you have to swear not to share this or post it online or whatever. Okay. Well, we're posting this online, my dude. So I don't know what to tell you. There's this girl in class who I like. Like, I like her. Been trying to find a way to talk to her, and I saw a sticker on her maths book that said she's into Delinquency Day 9. Like, the game? So, like, that's cool. I can work with that. Except I can't because I play on console, so I need to run the game on PC like her. Can you build me a PC that can run the game? Come on, man. You gotta do it for love. Okay. <laughs> oh, you signed it. Romeo. Romeo, we got a parts budget of 1400 bucks to play Delinquency Day 9 at recommended spec. Let's take a look at will it run. Let's see. Delinquency Day 9, recommended spec. We got 8 gigs of RAM, 8 gigs of VRAM, 65 gigs of storage, a Ryzen 7, 1700X, and an RX Vega 56. Those were not the greatest graphics cards. 1700X was actually really nice when it came out, but that is mega old at this point. So I think... If we can pull it off, we may have to do something with this budget to get him a little bit better system than the recommended spec of this one. Okay, so I'm going to leave this up because I need to put a build together. But before I do that, before I start putting a build together, let's take a look at the spares and repairs. What? What, what did my foot get caught on this rug? I couldn't move. Character would not move. This is the build. I just actually bought this after the last episode from Spares and Repairs. I know I've got some stuff hanging around. It's old. It's crappy. I may just pull all the parts out of it so we can have stuff in the inventory. Maybe we'll start building just full-on PCs out of it. But I haven't built in this case yet. This is a pretty cool-looking case. I know there was... I think there was an issue with it recently. They had to do an update because 
something wasn't working with this case, but hopefully all that is sorted out because this is a really cool looking case. I'm excited to do something in here. This does have broken CPU, broken PSU, and broken RAM. So we're going to repla be replacing whatever's broken at least. Let's see. So the CPU is only a 1700. So yeah, we can definitely put something better in. Considering we have an NZXT N7 B550 board, we can put a little bit newer, nicer CPU in there. I think I might even have something in my inventory that we can just drop in. As for the RAM... Looks like one stick here has gone bad, so we'll just need to pick up one stick of RAM. And this 650 watt power supply, maybe we'll put something better like a thousand watt in there. Maybe we'll even put a better graphics card in this thing. It does have a 2080 Ti Founders Edition, which isn't broken, so if I swap it out, uh, I'll have it in my inventory for maybe a lower, a little bit lower end build. Yeah. So yeah, this is what we're working on today. I definitely am going to do some water cooling. This air cooler is going to come out of here. Not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet, but we'll get some stuff put in the cart for this for sure. And I've got to get stuff put in the cart anyway for the build to play this Delinquency Day 9. So I'm going to step away. Let me get this shopping cart open up. I'm going to step away. I'm going to get parts for this build put in the shopping cart as well as the parts that I think I might need for the Spares and Repairs rebuild. And as soon as I've got all that in there, I will come back and I will show you everything we're going to be buying. Also, I just realized as I was starting to put things in the cart that I forgot to accept this, so we'll do that together. It's been accepted now. Okay, I'm going to go back to putting things into the shopping cart. All right, let's start with the parts for the spares and repairs build we're going to do. We've got a couple of water cooling parts here. We've got one of these EK Quantum Velocity, DRGB, all that stuff it says <laughs> CPU block for the CPU we're going to put in. I actually have a Ryzen 7 5800X 3D in my inventory already. We're going to put that into the spares and repairs build. So this is the block that's going to fit that. We'll probably delit it. I usually delit stuff. It gives us an extra hundred bucks. So, you know, why not? We're also going to put in a Coolstream SE 360 RGB radiator. So let's go ahead and buy all of that for next day delivery. Clear that out. Let's come over here to the regular shop. Here's the rest of the stuff that I'm going to buy for the spares and repairs, but we're going to get an RTX 4080 just because we never get to play with this higher end stuff. From the jobs that come in, there's just rarely anything that's high end. So I figure let's build something to sell that at least has some high end parts in it. We're also going to put in my favorite NVMe drive, a PNY CS3040 M.2 SSD. 2 terabyte size. We're going to put in a 1,000 watt Antec High Current Gamer Extreme Series power supply. And we're going to add a couple of EK Vardar fans just so that they kind of match the fans that are on the radiator. All right, moving on for the build for this customer to play Delinquency Day 9 at recommended spec. We're going to go with a Gigabyte B450 Aorus M motherboard. We're going to put in a Ryzen 5 5600X. It's actually less cores but the ipc is higher than the 1700x that they wanted and i can even show you guys real quick here on this part ranking they called for a 1700x and we're gonna put in a 5600x so here we are right here actually it's got higher ipc so we're gonna go with that we're gonna cool that with an arctic liquid freezer too 240 millimeter AIO water cooler. We're going to put in two sticks of Patriot Viper Steel Series 8 gig, 3600 megahertz. Just because this is DDR4, we're going to go for a little bit higher megahertz on it. Might help a little bit. Again, the game only requires, I think, 8 gigs of RAM, and we're putting in 16, so a little bit nicer than what they need. Also, it called for a Vega 56. We're going to put in a Radeon RX 5700. Now, the Vega 56 was pretty close in price to this. It was 600 and something dollars. The 5700 is actually going to give them a lot more performance for just a few more dollars. So why not? Why not? To power all that up, we're going to go with an A-Data XPG core reactor, 650 watt power supply. We're going to put in a Kingston A2000, 1000 gig NVMe drive. We're going to put it all in the cheapest case in the game. As far as I know, the Colink Stronghold in black. Okay, so yeah. 1386 they had a $1,400 budget, so we're coming in, what's that, $14 under budget. But hey, I think they're going to have a pretty nice PC when it's all done. The spares and repairs build is definitely a lot more expensive. 
So let's go ahead and buy all of that now for next day delivery. I'm just going to leave that open because the repair we have coming in, this diagnose and fix, don't know what's wrong with it. I know we're probably going to need RAM. I have a feeling we're going to need a power supply. I'm not sure if they're getting an electric shock when they touch it. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to figure this one out. So let's close out the part ranking. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. And we already looked at the spares and repairs build. So I think we're ready to go in the day. We can get everything in here. Let's see. Let's turn the lights off. Let's end this day. We can get everything in and we can get to work on this build and this diagnose and fix whatever's going on with that thing. And then, of course, we're going to build a pretty nice PC with the stuff from spares and repairs. All right. Lights on. Here's our case. Here's our fix. Here's our parts. Go ahead and grab all of that. Grab this fix. We'll go put this thing over here on this workbench. There we go. No telling what's wrong with it. No telling. Let me grab this sticky note. We're going to go ahead and get that put over here. And I'm going to grab the case from out here. And we'll get that put on this workbench in here. And, you know, start working on that build here in a minute. Let's see if we can figure out what the heck's wrong with this thing. Does it boot? It doesn't even boot. Doesn't even boot. So that would tell me that this power supply is probably dead. That'd be my first, my first assumption here. So let's unplug this. They've got green fittings, black cables. Yeah, we're probably going to mess this cables up because I've already not paid attention to what they are. But we'll see what happens. Okay, let's get this power supply out. Let's take a look here. We don't need that. Where are we? Power supplies. It is definitely broken. I don't have another one of the same thing, so we're going to have to order one of those. So let's pull up our tablet. Go, oh, we sold something. We sold something. Maybe they both sold. Maybe they both sold. Let's come down here to power supplies. We need a RM850X for this job. There we go. Now, without knowing, um, I don't want to use this or this. Maybe we could put in the 650 watt and just cable it up real quick. I don't even think we're going to be able to cable it. Maybe. Do we have enough cables on a 650 for two 2070s? We do. Okay, let's see if we can figure out what else is broken here. No CPU found. Uh, and the CPU cooler looks dead as well. So what do we have for CPU on this? Go back here. Let's go to the email. Let's see. Diagnose. EC stats. They've got a 12900K, so that's dead. All right, let's grab one of those. I have a 12900K. I didn't pay $795 for it. Brand new. <laughs> Jeez. That's expensive. I didn't even spend that on my 13900K that I also have. So go figure that. These prices are... These prices are out there, man. And then we need another one of these CPU coolers because theirs is also dead. So let's grab one of those. And then I I honestly don't know about the RAM. I guess we can pull RAM. All the other fans are spinning. This thing's dead. It looks like maybe that one stick of RAM might be dead too. Let's zoom in here. Let's remove. I'm going to go ahead and take this out. Oh, I didn't want to clean it. Who uses a Q-tip to clean a CPU anyway? Can I open this, please? Thank you. And then let's take a look at this RAM. Um, let's take a look at both of these sticks of RAM, actually. Let's get this CPU out. Okay, so. Let's go. What am I looking for? 
CPU. Their CPU is definitely broken. We knew that. Then CPU cooler. Their CPU cooler actually says owned by, but I don't understand why it wasn't spinning. That was definitely weird. Is that just because the CPU was broken? Is that what the game does now? I don't know. Let's take a look at the memory. They've got a faulty stick of RAM. Let's get another stick of that ordered. We can go ahead and put this one back in, though. We're going to set this up more, more correctly. Let's pull out our tablet. We're going to go here. Let's go down to RAM. And we want another stick of RAM. There we go. We're at $1,064. What was their budget? $1,200. Bucks. Hopefully that's all that's wrong here. It's got to be. Unless they've got like a faulty drive. Which I won't know. Ooh. Okay, well, let's just do this. Let's go ahead. We'll go to the tablet. Let's go to the shop. Go to checkout. We're going to go ahead and order all this stuff. Except for this. I'm not sure we need that. We're going to order all this stuff. For same day delivery. And hopefully, hopefully, we don't need to buy any more. It's going to start getting expensive if we do. So let's come out here. Stuff is already here. Let's start putting stuff back in this PC and see if we can get it working. See what we need here. Let's go ahead and sell off this faulty stick of RAM. There we go. Let's get the new, oops, the new CPU in. Sell off the broken one. There we go. Let's get thermal paste on this new CPU. There we go. And we can go ahead and get their cooler back on because it says owned by. I'm hoping it actually works. Go ahead and cable it up. We need to remove all these cables though. Because we've got to get this other power supply in here. Let's unplug that. Can I unplug the... Oh, nope, that's not it. So now I have removed <laughs> the lower dust filter. Put that back in. Then we need to get the new power supply that we bought for this thing. So let's sell this broken one. Let's grab the new one. That installed. And we're going to go ahead and cable this thing up. They have these green connectors. I think they're cables. They were black. Let's see, were they this or plain plastic? I'm not sure. Let's just do the plastic. I know what it looks like. I'm, I don't I feel like we might be giving the customer the wrong cables, but hopefully they're right. Hopefully they'll like them. Okay, let's see. Okay, the CPU cooler is working now. Let's hop into this BIOS. Let's go here. Let's turn on XMP. Let's see if this thing boots. Maybe. There we go. Okay. I think this is done. I think this is done. That wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad. Oh, I've got to get this PSU mount on here. Hold on. That's not what I meant to do. Let's power this down. Get this PSU mount on. Power it back up, just in case. And while it's on, we can take a look at their build. Zoom in a little bit. Because once I put the side panel on, we'll be able to see it. I'm not sure what... Is that their RAM that's flashing and making all that light? I have no clue. Maybe it's their motherboard. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Let's get this side panel on. This thing should be done. 
Was there, was there anything else they wanted us to do to this? Oh, they wanted warning sign stickers and plastic blue cables. I'm glad I checked. I'm glad I actually let's power this down. I was worried about putting the right cables in and well, I didn't even put what they wanted. They want plastic blue. So let's unplug everything. Don't need another four star, four star review here. Let's unplug everything. I don't know if this stuff counts, but we're going to unplug it anyway. I know this doesn't and this doesn't, but you know what? Let's do blue connectors. They didn't really say, and then they wanted plastic blue. Plastic blue cables. They didn't really say what type of plastic blue. Let's just do these. Oh, I'm so glad I checked. We would have gotten, would have gotten like four stars. All right, let's make sure it boots back up. I don't know why it's got this SLI bridge because 2070 Supers had high bandwidth SLI bridges. That big, huge, going all the way across the top of that, this little, this little old SLI bridge wouldn't do jack squat on this, on these graphics cards. Wow, they really should fix that. Okay, let's get these side panels back on. And then we need to go put warning sign stickers on this case. Let's grab this bad boy. Let's come over here to the stickering bench. We need warning signs. Oh, that's them right there. They didn't say what kind of warning signs, and I don't think they said what color, but they wanted blue cables, so let's do blue warning signs. Do a big biohazard on this side. Let's do a... Corrosive warning on this side. Nice and big. And an electrical warning, just because this customer was getting zapped. We're going to put an electrical warning here on the front for them to let them know that this is an electrical device. Okay. Now they got warning sign stickers. I think we're good. I think we're good. Blue cables, warning sign stickers... Out there we go. Now we've got this build to work on. So let's get this case taken apart. This is to play Delinquency Day 9. Let's take this uh, fan out of the front. We're going to put it up here in the top. Is there anything else that needs to be removed? Let's see. We can open that up. That's about it. That's about it. Let's go here to case fans. Let's grab this one. Let's put it up here in the top as an exhaust. Then we need our motherboard. We've got this Gigabyte with B450 Aorus M motherboard. We're going to put that in here. There we go. Let me zoom in a little bit and get this thing ready for CPU and RAM and our NVMe drive. So for the CPU, we've got the Ryzen 5 5600X. Put that right there. Very nice. For RAM, we've got two sticks of Patriot Viper Steel Series, 8 gig, 3600 megahertz. But one there and one there. For our storage, we've got this Kingston A2000 NVMe PCIe SSD 1000 gigabyte drive. <laughs> Let's put that here. Okay, we're moving right along. This is going to be a quick build, actually. Get some thermal paste on this CPU. Very nice. And we can go ahead and get our CPU cooler on here. We've got the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2, which is a 240 millimeter AIO water cooler. We're gonna put that right here in the front. Now this is exhausting that way, and these are exhausting, and well, that's just silly, but let's pretend that it's not exhausting out the front because that would just be dumb. Get this thing ready for our graphics card. But before we put that in, let me grab the power supply. We've got this A-Data XPG Core Reactor 650 watt power supply. We're going to put that right here. And then for our graphics card, we've got the AMD Radeon RX 5700. Grab that and install it right there. Very simple, very nice. 
This thing, I don't think it even has any RGB in it, to be honest. Oops, that's not even what I wanted to do. I wanted to do cabling. So for cabling, let's do some white connectors and let's just do some black cables. Let's see what we got here. Let's just do something simple. Maybe these sleeved, braided, plain black. Yeah, with the white connector, that looks nice. Get everything connected here. Perfect. Then, let me come around to this side. I'm going to go to tools, get a USB drive, because I always forget to put these in. All right, let's get some of these parts put back on. I don't think that this will start without the front panel, because, yep, we need to connect the front panel connector. And we can go ahead and put the dust filter on the top. And this side panel on the side. Alright, let's see if it powers up. Let's hop into the BIOS. I'm sure we need to turn on XMP. There we go. We get our 3200 megahertz worth out of it. We've only got the one drive to boot from, so let's go ahead and do that. Then we'll probably put Will It Run on here. And just to make sure that it will run delinquency day 9 at recommended spec. Will it run? Let's see if there's any lights. We'll put the lighting app on. I don't think there's keyboard and motherboard. The motherboard has lights. Does it really? Where are they? Oh, it's just right there. But we'll just leave it red because this is an AMD system. Let's go here, delinquency day nine, recommended spec. So here's what we've got versus what is needed. We've surpassed it by everything. For the recommended spec, we'd get 60 FPS. This is going to give them 132. So that'll be pretty nice. That'll be pretty nice, especially if they end up with like a 120 hertz monitor or something like that. That'll be perfect. That will be perfect. So this thing is all done here. And I don't think they wanted any stickers or anything. We'll double check, though. Let's pull up the tablet. It was good I double checked the last one. No, there's nothing here. Nothing. Nothing, nothing. So let's take a look at this thing without the UI in the way. It's a pretty simple build. Oh, I need to close that. It's a pretty simple build. Not a whole lot going on. But it'll get the job done for the customer. And that's really all that matters. There we go. Okay, so this thing is ready to go out here in the hallway. We should be able to collect some money now, and we will also check on our PC sales from the storefront. Let's take a look. So here's our diagnose job. We did do everything they asked. We put the warning sign stickers, plastic blue cables, and I think we fixed everything. So hopefully we will get five stars out of this. Five stars. They seem to know what was wrong with my PC, and the warning sign stickers were a nice touch. Very nice. $526 profit. Perfect. Oh, here we go with moving up one every single time. Okay, let's delete that. Then we've got this build to play Delinquency Day 9. It recommended spec. We did everything they wanted here, so let's collect that. Five stars, $231 profit. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. So we can delete that. Let's see. We got something... What, what is all this stuff? What is this? What is this? Let's take a look at this. It says Office of Constabulary, Region A12, Case Number, all that garbage. It says, I'm writing you as part of our official investigation into recent disturbances on Cobblemeyer Street. According to my files, you were in contact with a Cornelius Cranky of Mr. Cranky's Fancy Dress Emporium. I'm writing to inform you that Mr. Cranky has been arrested and charged with fraud. The charges further state that he was engaged in activities to deliberately devalue the Cobblemeyer Street area and its properties for the purpose of his own material and financial gain, to wit the purchase of all nearby premises and drastically reduced cost. These activities include dressing up as various monsters and roaming the area with the purpose of creating fear and confusion amongst residents, deliberately misleading the public at large about the safety of the area, and making false statements to the police about the same. I have no doubt he would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for the meddling of four local kids. They discovered the monster costumes and other evidence by chance after their dog broke into the premises, apparently seeking a large sandwich seen from the outside. Oh my. 
Their actions may well have saved the day, but we cannot ignore the animal's behavior. As such, the dog has been moved to a secure shelter awaiting a trial for trespassing. Well, that's stupid. We'll have no more funny business in this neighborhood. Mark my words regards Constable Rob Barry. Okay, so the PC we updated last episode apparently was trying to be used for fraud. Awesome. Awesome. Then we got something from Tim. Hey, have you got time to pop over to my place and see if I'm double parked? I do it myself, but I'm in Rio at the moment. Long story, Uncle Tim. No, I'm not doing that, Uncle Tim. You may be double parked. That would be a your problem. So we got a job here that we should be able to do. We got a D-lid job here we can do in the next episode. We've got some PCs from Spares and Repairs that I will check out after I'm done recording and maybe buy something. And we've got a new part available, Thermaltake Pure Plus 12 LED RGB. I'm guessing that maybe is a fan? I'm not sure. I am not sure. Okay, so we're, we're done. We're done with that. What we do have, what we do have is shop sales. Something has sold. Rise and Shine from the last episode has sold. Sale price of $4,500. A $2,947 profit. Not bad. Not bad. Let's go ahead and collect that. We still have one out there. Some, one of our, the RGB build. That's what it is. The RGB build is still out there. So apparently nobody, nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. That's a shame. That is a shame. All right. Let's get started working on our spares and repairs build. All right, let's start taking this thing apart. Got three glass pieces here. There's a lot of case going on here. Okay. Let me zoom in. Let's go ahead and get this CPU cooler off. This CPU is broken. We're going to go ahead and get that out of here. Let's get these cables unplugged. We're going to get this 2080 Ti out of here. There we go. This cable is going to go... We got to figure out which stick of RAM is broken. Also, it looks like there may be some dust in here. So that's going to need to go. This power supply is broken. That needs to go. Okay. So before we do anything else here, let's go to tools. Let's get some compressed air. Let's clean out the dust. It's hard to see. There we go. Okay. It's clean. Perfect. Now, do you think maybe it's the third stick of RAM here? It's the third one down. That might be it. That might be it. It is. That one was broken. Let's get rid of that. We do have this one in the inventory that is ready to go back in here. That's a great way to use up an inventory item. Open this drive bay. We also need to get some storage in here. We've got the PNY CS3040 NVMe drive, a two terabyte size that I purchased earlier. We're going to put that in. Let's see. Let's get our power supply in here as well. Sell that broken one. We've got the Antec High Current Gamer Extreme Series 1000 watt. Grab that and get that installed. While we are installing things, let's. Go here. Let's get these case fans I ordered. We've got two EK Vardar Evo 120ER RGB fans. We're going to put those here. We're going to use them as intake. There we go. Then, I'm over here to custom water cooling. We've got this Coolstream 360 RGB. We're going to put that up here in the top. And then... We've also got this EK140 Revo D5 RGB that was also in the inventory. We're going to use that and it's going to mount uh, there. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. Right, right, right. So we're getting close to having everything done. What we need to do is come over here and delid the 7800 or the 7800, the 5800 X3D. Let's sell off this broken one. We're going to delid this. It's worth an extra hundred bucks to us. We may as well do it. It only takes a few minutes. You guys get tired of seeing delidding. You can always just skip this part. It's okay. It doesn't hurt my feelings, I promise. Mm. 
zip through this as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, the animations take longer than they need to. I don't know why. Get the scraper. We're going to scrape all of this off of here. There we go. We're going to varnish. This takes so long. I wish this went quicker. Like, could we get a varnish speed upgrade? <laughs> okay, sufficient varnish has been applied. Now we've got to do silicone, which actually goes a lot faster than the varnish. You can kind of keep a steady motion going and able to get this silicone on pretty quick. There we go. Then we got to get our liquid metal on here. Let's do a dollop there and a little dollop there. We put our IHS back on, we'll get it clamped down, and we should be basically good to go. Get this thing on, get the clamp on. Very nice. Okay, delitted. Go to the inventory. Perfect. Go put this thing in our build. Zoom in a little bit. We can see what we're doing here. Let's install this Ryzen 7 5800X 3D right there. Then I want to get some thermal paste on here because we're going to go ahead and put the CPU block on. Over here, we've got this EK Quantum Velocity CPU block. The plexi one, you can see through it. Oh, that's always nice. And then... Oh, that fan looked weird. And then, I think all that's left... This might have to come out for this 4080. We're going to get this 4080 installed. There it is, right there. Nice new 4080. Okay. All that's left is to cable this and pipe it. So let's do, let's pipe it next. So as usual, if this ends up taking some time, I will step away and get this finished piping. Let's use these alpha cool fittings and we're going to use a clear rigid pipe. We're going to go out of here, into here. Close enough. Close enough for me. Okay, let's cable this up. Uh, let's use the white fittings. Is that not it? Where's my custom ones? Custom cables. I've got some custom like black and white. Gray and white, was that it? Maybe that was it. The gray and white, that's what I was thinking about. Where'd those go? Gray and white. Let's do these. Yeah. Get everything connected up here, then we'll get some coolant into the system. We start putting the system back together. Should be just about done here. Let me get some of the components back on. We got this front panel. We've got this little front panel. Where's the top? Top panel. 
side panel. We'll leave this side panel off. Let's go over here. Let's get some coolant. Let's get some black opaque coolant. Oh, are we going to have that issue where I've got to restart the game again? Yep. What is it with this? Every time. This happened last episode. As soon as I put coolant in here. Now it says empty. But see, I can't can't put it in. It's going to become like every episode I'm going to have to uh, have to back out to... All right, guys, let me save this so it doesn't go anywhere. And I'll be back. All right, there we go. I didn't do anything but go to the main menu or loading screen or whatever and come back and it's full. I don't get it. I don't understand. Okay, let's go here. Let's grab a USB drive. We're going to be screenshotting this. So let's unplug these cables. Let's plug them in back here where they might be a little bit nicer. Not just all willy-nilly in the front. Okay. Should be able to power this up. I'm going to hop into the BIOS. I'm sure we need to turn on XMP. Go here, XMP on. We're going to boot from the PNY. Even though the other drive probably already has stuff on it, I'm not going to worry about it. That's somebody else's problem. <laughs> when they buy this, that is someone else's problem. Okay, let's go here. Let's go to lighting. Close that. Select all. We're going to go static. We're going to do white. Nice. Very nice. Now we can get this side panel on here. We can take a look at this thing. I think it turned out pretty nice. Pretty dang nice. That was the first time building in this case for me. So I'm excited to get to build in it some more. I really like it. It's a very nice case. Very nice to build in. Okay, we need to go put something on this case to, uh, you know, modify it in some way. Let's see, what can we put on here? Hmm. We could do one of these PCBS logos. Not that big. There we go. There we go. That actually doesn't look bad. Actually doesn't look bad. Okay, let's go put this thing out here. We can get this thing listed for sale. All right, we need to name it. I've already picked a name. Someone has left a name for us on the Discord server. This is the uh, white warrior PC. This is from Chiseled on the Discord server. If you would like the opportunity to maybe name one of these PCs, you can do so by going to my Discord server. There is a link down in the description. Go to the name a PC channel, read the rules, and post a name. As simple as that, and I kind of work through them. Of course, if you post something not safe for work, it's not going to get used. So please don't do that. Other than that, most names get used. Pretty simple. I just work through them. So yeah, this is the White Warrior PC from Chiseled. We're going to go ahead and save that. We've got $50 for naming the PC, $50 for case customization. We did put in new cables, but they were custom, so we got $50 for custom cables. It's either one or the other. We delitted. We got 100 bucks for that. Overclocked the RAM by turning on XMP, $50 for that. Custom water cooling loop, $100 for that. And we customized the LED lights, we got $50 for that. And, well, I still don't have a 5-star bongle rating yet again, unfortunately. So $0 for that. Lucky me. 
So the sale price is 7173 That's a 100% chance of sale. We are going to raise that price. Let me figure out what this is going to be. We're going to get this thing to 50% chance of sale and get as much money out of it as we possibly can. All right, we're going to go for $10,500. That gets us to 53%. I'm not going to try to figure out the dollar here, dollar there to get us to exactly 50%. 53% chance of sale is fine by me. So we've got the White Warrior PC for $10,500. Hopefully it will sell. Let's go ahead and list it. There it is. Oh, these little connectors on the back look like there was lights on. <laughs> I think it turned out pretty nice. Pretty dang nice. So yeah, 10 5 for that. This thing still hasn't sold. Hopefully it'll be leaving our inventory soon. If not, we may have to actually lower the price on that. I don't know. <laughs> We're parted out or something. It is not wanting to sell. Oh, well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate you being here and taking your time to watch a video of mine. If you enjoyed it, I would appreciate a like. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. Subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell if you want to be notified as soon as a video from me goes live. Also, I am streaming over on Twitch on occasions. If you want to come hang out with me when I'm live, there's a link to my Twitch channel down in the description. Also, like I said, I do have a Discord server if you want to submit a name for a spares and repairs build. Or if you just want to come hang out and chat with a great bunch of guys and gals, there's a link to my Discord down in the description as well. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there, guys. And I will see you in the next episode.